Hi guys, awesome to see you here again. Today it's a new chapter. We will start with 1 Timothy 5. Wow, you made it through this point. Thank you for joining and I hope this chapter again will bless you and um, yeah, that you will learn from thing, some, some points from this Bible study. So, um, 1 Timothy 5 and we start with the first two verses. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with absolute purity. With these first two verses of chapter 5, Paul transitions into a new section of how to treat different groups of people within the church addressing men and women in turn. Paul helps us understand the proper attitude believers ought to take in relating with one another by likening it to a family. Secondly, for those older than ourselves, Paul counsels us to approach and deal with them as we would our parents. Understanding the culture of their era, we understand that this is not a trivial command. Mothers and fathers were afforded the utmost respect and honor. Correcting them required extreme tact, respect, empathy and gentleness. And thirdly, for our peers and those younger than ourselves, we ought to have the attitude we have with our siblings. Patience, understanding, watchfulness, accountability and encouragement. As many of the younger women in church are beautiful, trusting and innocent, our interacting with them with absolute purity is essential. Calling them sister helps set the tone and reinforces the necessary parameters to avoid stumbling into sin. Brothers, the culture we live in is informal and permissive on many levels. Throughout the world, the elderly are oftentimes overlooked or an afterthought in many sectors of the economy, but that must never be the case in the church. May we all check our hearts and become more conscious of how we interact and speak to one another. May God bless you all.